In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH3 plus CH3COOH. This is ammonia plus acetic acid. So first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. And as we balance, I want to talk a little bit about the product here. This is ammonium acetate. These are both ammonium acetate. They're just different ways to write it. Instead of COO, we write CO2 here. So you might see either way. Let's use this way here in this video. So we balance the molecular equation first, and it turns out that this is already balanced. So that's done. Then we need to write the states for each substance. Ammonia will dissolve in water. So we're going to write an aqueous and acetic acid will also dissolve in water. That'll be aqueous. Compounds with this ammonium ion and with the acetate ion, very soluble. They'll split apart, dissociate their strong electrolytes. So we're going to write AQ after that as well. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll be the complete ionic equation. It's also called the total ionic equation sometimes. Here's the thing. You need to know that ammonia, NH3, although it dissolves in water, it's aqueous, it is a weak electrolyte. It's a weak base, so it's not going to dissociate into its ions. We're just going to write NH3. We'll write the states at the end, and it's going to be aqueous. It just doesn't split apart. Same as acetic acid. This is a weak acid. It's a weak electrolyte. And while it does dissociate a little bit, for the purpose of our net ionic equation, we don't split acetic acid apart. We just keep CH3COOH. So these are the reactants. In the products, we have this ammonium acetate. We said ammonium compounds are very soluble, as are acetate compounds. So we can split this up into its ions because it's a strong electrolyte. So the ammonium ion, NH4, is always 1 plus. The acetate ion here is always 1 minus. So when we split them apart, we'll have NH4 plus, plus that acetate ion, CH3, COO minus. And these will be the products. So we split the strong electrolytes into their ions. We left the ammonia and the acetic acid alone because they're weak electrolytes. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete ionic equation. In this case, there's nothing that's the same on both sides. Each substance is unique. So in this case, the complete ionic equation, it's the same as the net ionic equation. So this is our net ionic equation. I'll clean it up, write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation for NH3 plus CH3COOH. So this is our net ionic equation for ammonia plus acetic acid. The key to writing this net ionic equation is to realize that NH3 ammonia, that's a weak base, so it's a weak electrolyte, we don't split it apart, and that acetic acid, that's a weak acid, weak electrolyte, we don't split it apart either. And then ammonium compounds, very soluble, acetate compounds, very soluble, so we do split this apart as it's a strong electrolyte. You'll note the charge is balanced. Everything's neutral here. We have a plus and a minus. They balance out. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on each side as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.